William James, who is thought of as the father of American psychology, said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that a man can alter his life by altering his thinking. Now, before him, Ernest Holmes said it like this, if you would change your thinking, you would change your life. And we go, it can't be that easy. Can it really be that easy? Have you ever tried to change your thinking? It's work. Now, yes, you can change a thought in a moment, but to keep it changed, and this is the trick, to keep it changed, that takes a little more effort, but that's really where the reward is. So we are a new thought church, and in a new, in, in a new thought, what we, I think, new thought is teaching healthy mindedness. Uh, think thoughts that support and give life. That's what we're after here, you know? So if I um, go to the New Testament and I look at Jesus, Jesus was a Jew, he was a rabbi, and he had a new thought. And now this is in my own language, but it was as if to say, I know what your religion teaches you, but I say to you, here's a thought that will give you more life. Mm -hmm. So it's not the letter that gives life, it's the spirit that gives life, and spirit within you is ever unfolding. You know, it, the spirit within you is always trying to reveal more of its nature, more of its good, more of its love. So God, we say in the science of mind that God is always seeking a fuller and greater expression of itself. How that expression happens is by you and I putting it out there into the world. Mm -hmm.